Nearly two decades after 18-year-old Natalie Holloway's disappearance in Aruba, the prime suspect in the case is set to face charges in the U.S. as her family awaits justice. Peruvian authorities have now agreed to a temporary extradition of Jorhan Vandersloot to face prosecution in the U.S. for the alleged commission of the crimes of extortion and fraud, stemming from Holloway's disappearance in 2005. It's fairly extraordinary for another country to temporarily give up a prisoner. Uh, to, the, to the United States. It would have taken a fair amount of negotiation between U.S. authorities and Peruvian authorities. Vandersloot, a Dutch national from Aruba, is currently serving a 28-year sentence in Peru for another crime, the murder of Stephanie Flores, who was strangled five years to the day after Holloway disappeared. Vandersloot confessed to killing Flores. ABC's John Quinones later caught up with him outside prison. Was your confession done willingly, Yara? Can you tell us that? Vandersloot, now 35, never faced charges in Holloway's disappearance. Her body was never found, though after months of searching, an Aruban judge declared her dead. In 2006, he spoke to ABC News. Did you kill Natalie Holloway? No. Holloway had traveled to Aruba from Alabama on a high school graduation trip. She was last seen leaving a bar with Vandersloot, but never made it home. Her parents immediately went to Aruba to search for her. I know in my heart that, that we are going to find Natalie. I just feel like I have to be out there looking. U.S. prosecutors say Vandersloot demanded $250,000 from the Holloways in exchange for information that would lead them to her remains. They wired him $25,000. Prosecutors claim he then knowingly took them to an incorrect area where he claimed her remains were located. Now, knowing that Vandersloot will be facing those charges in the U.S., Holloway's mother says it has been a very long and painful journey, but the persistence of many is going to pay off. Together, we are finally getting justice for Natalie. Vandersloot should be in the U.S. in the next couple of days. Under the extradition agreement, he'll eventually be returned to Peru to continue serving his sentence there. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.